air testing it to see if it's going to hold water. Now, I would highly recommend that you do not do this on carpet like we are doing it, but this thing is so heavy, we're not able to move it in and outside. So, if we see that it's starting to leak, or if it blows up, the wife is getting a new carpet cleaning, basically. Right, Travis? Our new carpet, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Anyways, we will see how this process goes. Now we have the aquarium completely full. Uh, I did add some OxyClean to it to help clean up the, the buildup of uh, algae and mold, uh, water stains that were in it. So that's what all the white uh, suds are. Uh, I was told that that's a good way to make sure all that's good cleaned out and safe for the aquarium. Uh, I also noticed that the scratches that I were kind of concerned about, you don't see them and this water looks pretty clear so uh, we just have to let this set for 24 hours and then we do the process of draining it how fun we have resealed, tested, drained, and cleaned at the aquarium, and it's ready for us to set it up as a habitat for owl. So please subscribe below so that you can be updated on that process. And again, we ask if you have any suggestions or comments to put them down below or you can email me. Thank you for following us and have a great day.